Welcome to Southern Yankee DIY. I'm Leah and I'm so glad to have you here today. If this is your first time joining us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below because you don't want to miss out on any of the Southern Yankee DIY projects, room renovations, or budget heavy home decor. Today we've got something extra special planned for y'all. We teamed up with a bunch of other incredibly talented YouTubers to bring y'all some fun spring and Easter crafts. Today is going to be the first video of my spring tablescape series. I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful centerpiece for your spring or Easter table. It's going to involve a little DIY dupe of this picket fence and I know y'all are going to love it. So after you get done with my video, go ahead and check out my friends below. I'm going to link them and tell them that we sent you. So let's get started. Okay, so the first part of my Easter tablescape will be to create a DIY picket fence. I have a picket fence in my decor already and I've gotten so many questions about it and I just absolutely love it. I decided that I would make a simple DIY version using um, these paint sticks that I got from Lowe's. Each pack was 98 cents or less, so this is a super budget savvy project. I started by getting the paint sticks ready to paint. I prepped them by putting them on um, other scrap wood so that I could get the sides and the edges really well. You'll notice that I also have these little tiny sticks. That's for a surprise for next week in the series. These are going to be um, an amazing place setting that I can't wait to share with y'all. As per usual, I'm going to use my favorite spray paint brand Rust-Oleum with the two times. Um, it is a white primer paint and I'm going to just go ahead and put some equal coverage over all of the paint sticks. I love Rust-Oleum because it, I don't have those runs that I get with the normal paint, spray paint and the coverage is absolutely amazing. I went ahead and let the paint dry overnight. Then I got the other pieces of scrap lattice that I had laying around ready to be the base of the project. Um, I just took the lattice and measured out where exactly my paint sticks would sit on it so that I could get a good idea of where I needed to cut the lattice strip. You're gonna cut two pieces of the lattice strip for the top and the bottom of the picket fence. It's important to really take your time and measure out where the paint sticks are going to be and how much space you want in between them because once you cut your scrap lattice piece, that's basically where they have to stay. I did mine about a half of an inch apart, but go ahead and play with what you like and what looks best for you. I use my miter saw here to um, make my cuts, but you could always use a hand saw, anything really that you want to do. Um, the lattice is so thin, it won't matter what you use to cut it, um, it should cut easily. Now it's time to go ahead and place my paint sticks onto my lattice pieces. To do this, I'm going to use Gorilla Glue. You could always use hot glue or um, super glue. I think Gorilla Glue will just have the best hold and this decoration piece will 
be able to stay with me for seasons. Just apply a little dab of the Gorilla Glue. It doesn't take much and it goes a long way. And then start to place your, your paint stick at the very edge of the lattice piece. All right, y'all, so I used different ways to measure my um, distance between each of the paint sticks. I tried to use a regular ruler, and then I also tried to use this um, Craig Jig setup tool that I absolutely love, but everything was just not really working and it was taking too long, so I decided to just go ahead and use the width of this nail holder that I have. Um, so I just placed it in between each of the paint sticks and then that's how I knew exactly where my distance needed to be in between each of the boards. Okay, so I did get a little glue happy on some of the portions and I had a little bit of run over from the glue. Just go ahead and take a rag and wipe off your excess glue and everything will be just fine. Your last piece should go on the very edge of the lattice strips. Now mine are not gonna be perfect, you're gonna see when I flip over, but nobody will ever notice. So just make sure that they're right on the edge. Now I went ahead and used the rest of the scrap piece of lattice and made a diagonal cut so that the back could connect. I did this cut with the miter saw. Um, it fit very nicely. I just went ahead and drew a line um, where I would need that vertical cut and then used my miter saw to make the cut. You could make this cut with the jigsaw also, whatever you prefer. Now that my back piece of lattice is cut, I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the back of the picket fence the same way as I applied everything else with my Gorilla Glue. After my final piece of lattice was attached to the back, I went ahead and gave the back a uh, coat of spray paint the same color that I used on the front.
Once my picket fence was dried and ready to go, it was time to set up my spring and Easter tablescape. You can see that I used just some spring wrapping paper as a table runner and then also used my picket fence in the center. That's going to be the main event. Next, I went ahead and got out my Easter eggs from last year. You can find these at the Dollar Tree or the Target Dollar section. And I went ahead and filled them in a clear glass jar. Then I'm going to top them with these really pretty bright flowers. Any kind of flowers for spring are perfect. When it gets closer to time, I'll probably use tulips. Um, just something bright and fun that's going to be the center of the tablescape. You could also do different color eggs. You could do different finishes. I may go back and finish these eggs with some matte spray paint. I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to play around until I'm happy. This really pretty flower garland I got from last year at Michael's. It was on my tablescape last year and I'm going to go ahead and reuse it this year. New decorations do not have to be expensive. You can definitely shop your home and use things that you've already used but in a different way. These little clay pots I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to go ahead and fill them each with moss and set some on their side, set some straight up. They're super cute and perfect for spring. Then I'm going to add just some plain white candles to them. You can also find these at the Dollar Tree. So that's it for part one of my Easter spring tablescape. I hope y'all love this centerpiece. I can't wait to get started on the rest of the tablescape. I will uh, premiere the rest of it next week in part two. I hope y'all enjoyed it and love it as much as I do. Don't forget to go ahead and check out my friend's amazing spring projects. I will go ahead and link them below and tell them that we sent you. I hope y'all have a very, very happy spring and that it starts to get warm wherever you are.